what's up sun rays welcome back to my channel it's ray if you're new here welcome i am excited about this wash and go that i'm going to do today as you can see from the title this video is going to be featuring all nature's little secret products so um yeah i'm having a nature's little secret wash day now you guys know that i love nature's little secret that is no surprise to anyone so I thought, you know what? They finally dropped their okra curl defining gel that we have long been waiting for. I thought, let me go ahead and do a whole nature's little secret wash day so I can put this curl defining gel to a test now. You go, you guys know that I am an affiliate with Nature's a Little Secret. I do have a discount code. I'll link it here as well as down below in the description box. And I also have a link to their site. Even though I am an affiliate, I'm going to give y'all the true tea on the product like I always do. And I am praying that it works for me because I want to love it so much. And when I saw the texture of it, I opened this up and showed it to you guys in the unboxing in the vlog. Hopefully it's already out. I'll link it here if it is. If it's not, it'll be coming up. But I showed you the texture of it and when I saw the texture, I was like, okay, great. Because it reminded me so much of another custard that I love for my hair. Now she calls this a gel. Um, and I'll show you the texture of it in case you did not see that video here it looks like this so it is somewhat creamy has a little bit of tack to it um, so some people call it a cream gel you can call it a cream gel if you want to because it does look more like a cream because of the consistency and the color of it but it reminds me very much of a custard that i love as far as the texture so i am hoping that this works for my hair so i'm excited i'm gonna go ahead and get started um, on my hair because it does say that you need to use this product on soaking wet hair so i don't want my hair to dry out okay so i will say let me go ahead and go through my wash day so i washed my hair with the nature's little secret cucumber nourishing shampoo which i love it is almost gone as you can see it's down to here. I love it. If you guys have not tried this, pick this up and give it a try. Again, discount code in the description box. Um, but this is a very moisturizing shampoo. It does cleanse your hair, but it makes it feel so moisturized and hydrated at the same time. After that, I deep conditioned with the Nature's Little Secret Rose Hydrating Conditioner made with rose water, which you guys know that I love as well. I have tried all three of their deep conditioners. I like all three of them. I chose this one today. Um, a great slip, a lot of moisture. If you haven't tried it, pick it up and give it a try. And then I went in with the Nature's Little Secret Avocado Moisture Cream made with avocado oil and butter as my leave-in. And I love it as well. It's down to here. So it is already in my hair, applied it to my hair in the shower. Now for this ochre defining gel, it says, after cleansing and conditioning hair, apply our banana leave-in conditioner or avocado moisture cream thoroughly. So I applied the moisture cream um, and I did do it thoroughly. Follow up with our herbal scalp oil, which is optional. I'm not going to follow up with that. And then it says split hair into small sections. You know what? I am going to follow up with that. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that guys you know what i have not tried this yet and this is going to give me an opportunity to try it um some people have said that the few reviews that are out because this is brand new so the few reviews that are out some people have said that it did give a, a slight crunch and um so hopefully this oil will help to alleviate some of that and just add you know a little bit Still in the moisture that I already have, I should say that. Still in the moisture that I already have. So I'm going to, it's got a little something down here. So I'm going to shake this up. I don't know if that's going to help or not, but we're going to kind of get some of this infused into this oil. Some of these herbs. And we're going to apply this to the hair. So let me go ahead and apply this real quick to these sections so it can start to seep in a little bit and not 
may not feel like it's sitting on top because you guys know how I am about oil. It is very lightweight, it seems. I'm just gonna put a little bit in these sections. Hope it doesn't change the way the stuff works, but she said to do it, so we're gonna do it. And um, anyway, let me keep going with that. So it says to apply the um, oil, which is optional. You don't have to do it, but I wanna use this oil and tell you guys you know what I how I feel about it it's gonna be a little bit different than if I was applying it you know as a pre poo or something like that but I'll at least be able to tell whether my hair feels greasy or anything like that from it um, so then after you apply the oil it says to split the hair into small sections and apply the okra defining gel on soaking wet hair so my hair is wet. You can see the water dripping off my chin and onto my neck. So my hair is soaking wet. It's not dripping, but it is soaking wet. But I do have my spray bottle here with warm water. So if I need to re-wet my hair, I can. I'm gonna do everything it says to do to see if I can get the best results possible because I love this type of consistency in a gel or custard, and I just want it to work. So I hope it doesn't flake adding this oil. I mean, my hair is low porosity, so I don't really need oil. My hair doesn't really care for it on top. Now, it doesn't do bad when it's like this, um, you know, underneath the gel. So we're gonna hope that it does good. Okay, so it says, like I said, to apply um, to soaking wet hair. It says use fingers to rake, smooth, and or shingle each section after applying the gel. Rewet section if necessary. For best results, diffuse hair or sit under a hooded dryer to set the hair. I'll be sitting under my hooded dryer. And then it says air drying is optional. So for those of you who like to air dry, that is an option. Do not touch hair while drying until fully dry and set. Can be also used to slick down edges, buns, or ponytails. So that's great. It says, we know okra may not be your favorite, but this nutrient-rich vegetable has some amazing benefits for your hair. Okra contains vitamin A, C, and K, which are great for the overall health of your hair and scalp. Okra has a high mucilage content, which helps to create defined, shiny curls. It also has great antibacterial properties. Who knew? Our okra curl defining gel will leave your curls bouncy defined while providing lasting hold. Okay? So, now, you guys, if you have seen my vlog, then you know, but if you have not seen my vlog, I will say that um, the ingredients on this jar are not correct. So she does say to go to the website to see the ingredients list because on this label, it says that this has aloe leaf juice as well as um, agave nectar. Um, and in reality, it does not have the agave juice or the agave nectar, but it does have marshmallow root. It also has avocado oil. It has the okra extract. It has um, a little bit of glycerin in it and sesame seed oil and some other good things in it. So I do wanna let you know that make sure if you get this jar, if because this has already dropped, so if you go today um, and get this jar, it probably will not have the accurate ingredient list. If you're wondering exactly what's in it, go to the website and make sure that every ingredient that is on the website, your hair likes or you don't have any reactions to whatever she has on her website, okay? So I do want to say that the new ingredient list, the new labels will be coming out shortly and it will be updated. So she did want me to let you guys know that. And she also wanted to let you know 
wanted me to let you guys know that this is going to be coming out in a 12 ounce jar. So this is eight ounces, but she is going to start um, selling this in a 12 ounce jar. So all good news, all good news, all good news. Okay, let's go ahead and break this open and let's start applying it to the hair. Let's wait no longer. Okay, so I am going to start in the back guys and i am going to my hair is still wet but i'm just going to spray it if i can get this to work i'm going to spray it just a little bit more just to make sure so i'm going to take a little bit of this gel i don't know how much to get i'm going to take a little bit of this gel and i'm going to rub it in my hands first that's how i'm going to do it and then I'm going to apply it to my hair. Oh, guys, it smells good. I forgot to tell you how it smells. Now, I will say that I feel like this um, gel, uh -oh. I do feel like this gel is very um, smooth. However, I don't feel like the way it feels in my hands is not the way it feels on my hair. And I think it's because I added the oil. Normally this filling would feel differently on my hair because I normally put it right on top of a leave-in and I don't have that oil barrier. So sometimes when you use an oil between your products, it takes a little bit more for your gel to uh -oh, adhere, adhere to your hair and actually um, you know, help define it and give it the best hold and definition because it's having to, especially a cream gel, because it's having to work through the oil as well as the leave-in before it's even touching your hair. You get what I'm saying? So I'm not shocked about that. Put a little bit on my ends. hope it doesn't flake and if it does I'm going to reuse it without the oil because I'm I'm doing something different I should have just I should have just went on and did what I normally do so I can make sure my very first try with this is what I want it to be but we'll see um this kind of my lip this cream gel has a sweet smell, a slight sweet smell, nothing overpowering. Um, all her products are pretty light smelling in my opinion. None of them are overpowering. They just smell sweet. Um, and so this gel is no different. Add a little bit without adding the water and see if I get a different result. Bye. 
Okay, so I'm trying to, okay, I'm not going to use too much. I'm, I'm trying to get a certain filling and a certain coating on my hair, and I don't feel like I'm getting what I'm used to, um, so, but I don't want to keep adding more, so we're just going to see how it turns out once it dries because I don't want to end up adding too much and getting flakage. Let me go to this side. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna keep doing this and I'll be back when I have it all applied. Okay guys, I'm done applying the gel to my hair and this is what my hair is looking like. Um, we're gonna see, it looks like it's going to be fluffy. I feel like I used, I dug down on this side so um, this side is a little bit, this side still looks like it's at the top. This side looks like it's about down to here. So I would say that I used probably about this much. So I probably have another, at least two and a half uses out of this eight ounce jar. I would say two, two and a half uses, if not three. So um, not too bad, but I do feel like I used more because on this side I added water pretty much to every section. On this side I tried to um, use the product without adding water to see if I saw a difference. And then um, at the end up here I used water again. So I'm just going to see how it turns out and we're going to talk about it and I'll let you know if I feel like it works better on soaking wet hair, on damp hair, or whatever. Whether I feel like I should have um, used this oil or not, we'll go from there. So let me go ahead and dry my hair and I will be back, so stay tuned. Okay guys, I am back and this is my hair. I have already stretched it because I am rushing out. So um, yeah, this is what it looks like. It still has a lot of definition, although I stretched it. It does have some fluff like I like and some volume. So that is a good thing. So yeah, guys, I like this gel. I'm gonna be honest with you. I did put the oil on my hair and I do feel like there, you know, is a little bit of oil when I touch my hair, a little bit of oil on my hands but not much not enough to complain about but i do want to let you know that so for me i probably won't uh put oil in between the two the next time i use it i'll just go right from my right 
from the avocado cream right to the gel because I don't feel like um, I need the oil. I still feel like there is a small cast. So when I got from under the dryer, my hair did have a cast to it. Although I stretched it, it is softer, but there is definitely a cast. So you will get some days out of this wash and go, even though it's fluffy, in my opinion. I feel like it looks healthy. You know, it's not overly shiny or anything, but it definitely looks like healthy hair. I like that. There are no flaking. I don't see any dusting. I don't see any flaking. And I was really worried about that, um, you know, once I use the oil with it, just because I'm not used to using oils um, with my wash and goes anymore. Back in the day when my hair was shorter, I was doing the TWA. I think I was layering like the LCO and then the gel or the LOC and then the gel. But I got away from that so long ago that, you know, I just wasn't sure how my hair would would um, react so luckily I don't have any flaking and I'm glad about that but I still have like I said definition even though I stretched it and I did stretch it with heat and now I'm wondering if I should have because we have to go out and it is raining outside so that's kind of good kind of bad so now I'll get to see how this hair holds up to the elements to the rain and to the humidity and things like that so I'll try to come back on day three, let you see my hair, tell you how it held up once I went out. But right now, my initial thoughts is I like this Okra Curl Defining Gel. Guys, if you're someone who wants better ingredients, you still want hold, but you don't want the real strong, crunchy, drying hold that you get from, you know, some of your um, less expensive gels then I'd say try this because you definitely will get the hold. You'll definitely get the definition. Um, it won't be as crunchy. You'll definitely get fullness on first day. Um, hair, especially if you like that. I like fullness on first day, but I did stretch it. It was a little bit smaller than this and my coils were a little bit tighter. So if you don't want a whole lot of fullness, I just say don't stretch it on day one. But this is a winner guys this is a winner i can't wait to use it again i want to use it again like i normally do um without the oil i want to use it again with the banana cream leave-in to come and tell you guys how it works with that one as well i'm sure it's going to work just as good i used quite a bit not a whole lot but i used i put a little dent in it so like i said it's about right here so i probably got another two two and a half uses out of it i don't think that's bad for eight ounces but she's going to be coming out with 12 ounces so i'm sure that i will be picking up the 12 ounce jar because i like it i like it i like it these are my initial thoughts stay tuned for my third day hair and my update on how this lasted but right now i'm liking it you guys tell me what you think do you like it how's it look to you like i said no flaking definitely a cast on the ends so does this say this says um it says providing a lasting hold so Unless I'm overlooking it, it just says a lasting hold. It really doesn't say if it's a hard hold, a medium hold, or whatever. I could be overlooking it because I am in a hurry. It did say you can lay down your edges. Now, I did put some here to lay down my edges, and they just curled up. And I don't mind that because I don't have to have my edges laid. But as you can see, uh, these are coils, big as day. So, I don't know about laying down the hair. I will say that, at least for me, it just coiled my hair up, which I'm okay with. I mean, I have, I'm wearing a wash and go, so I wanted to coil my hair up. If I was doing a slick back, I probably would use something different. That's just me. But yeah, guys, tell me what you think. Again, I will have this linked in the description box with a um, discount code. So if you are interested in picking it up, please check that description box so you can save 15%. I'll also put the discount code here across the screen. And um, if you pick it up and you use it, let me know how you think about it. But yeah, that's it. Charnay, you did your thing with this. And guys, I'm going to tell you something about Nature's Little Secret. It's worth a try. If you are sleeping on Nature's Little Secret, wake up, 
get you some nature's little secret. All right, guys, I'll be back on day three. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back. Wanted to show you my third day hair using the nature's little secret okra gel. And guys, I do wanna say that um, you see, you know, a little dent here, a little dent here, because I put my hair in puffs to sleep. And I haven't really done a whole lot to it today. Today is a rainy day. Um, haven't been outside or anything. Sorry, I'm using my, holding the camera with my hands. Haven't been outside or anything, so I just haven't done a whole lot to my hair because I've just been around the house um, editing and doing some other things. But I did want to come on and show you. So I still have a whole lot of definition. My hair is still very pliable and soft to the touch. Yes, there still is a little bit of a cast, but it's definitely softer than it was on day one. And my curls are still clumped. Um, this isn't laying good because again, it was back in the puff. So it just has to do what it needs to do. So guys, don't look at how that it's not styled. Just look at the definition. There is some frizz, which you guys know I don't mind, but I'm looking at this hair and I mean, the coils on the ends are just beautiful, in my opinion. Um, I mean, they're just everywhere. And so if I were to, excuse my face, I'm so close up. If I were to, you know, stretch this hair, fluff it out the way that I do, my hair would look really good today. So the coils are just, to show you the coils are just beautiful still want to use it without the oil because i do feel like you know there is um I feel a little bit of oiliness on my hand so i do want to try it without the oil see if i get the same results different results if i get the softness if i don't or whatever so i'm just definitely going to revisit that gel but right now, I like it. Guys, I'd say pick it up and give it a try. If you have not tried Nature's Little Secret, I will leave my link in the description box along with the discount code so you can save 15%. And I suggest that you go over and pick up some of their products. Their products are really good, very moisturizing in my opinion, and do what they say that they're going to do haven't tried a product that I don't like yet. And that oil, even though I can feel it, it is lighter than a lot of oils from other companies. I don't feel a whole lot of oiliness and greasiness like I have from other products, but I still feel it just because I don't use a lot of oil, so I'm going to feel it. It's gonna be something that's gonna be very noticeable to me since I don't normally use oils in my hair, but someone who uses oils in their hair on a regular basis probably would not be able to tell as much and would be able to say that it's really light oil but yeah it's not overly greasy it's not to the point where i don't want to touch my hair i've had some products where i haven't even wanted to touch my hair so anyway that's it i'm not going to stay on here too long because i don't want to ramble and make this video too long but i did want to come back and show you third day hair before it got too late anyway so yeah guys that's it let me know what you think how my hair has held up um, let me know if you're going to try Nature's Little Secret. And yeah, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.